Holes and goals. Welcome, one and all, to new drama. Woo, yeah, it's me on vacation, dramaing it up, having fun, witnessing the downfall of people I don't like. Let's go. Let's go. You called me petty before, but you ain't seen petty yet. I am literally beginning my pettiness arc. On vacation, touching grass, you'd think it makes me healthier, but it makes me more petty. Oh my god, look at this dislike ratio. Oh my lord. Dude. So I'm on my laptop right now. I have a, I have the, the browser extension on my laptop. Bro, 5.8k to 32k is like, oh my lord. Jabez Flavis. So anyway, uh, Logan Paul, KSI, and Mr. Breast came together. Uh, like a less ethical version of Jesse James and Meowth, but also less funny and less good looking. They have come together to release the most <laughs> diabetes coated trash for children. Uh, the irony is his wife just gave birth and he promoted Lunchly in the hospital when she gave birth. Like, that is the most <laughs> brain dead <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. Um, but anyway, anyway, look at this. He makes a video. KSI says everyone hates us. Response. This is the Logan Paul big response to the drama of calling him out for, you know, lots of things. Scams. Working with people that are they're hiring pedophiles. Um, uh, you know, promoting <laughs> fake <laughs> So, anyway, here's his big response. No. No. It's any second now. What happened to YouTubers, man? I can't. What? And not say anything anymore. <laughs> Dude, what is this fake laugh? People told me this response was cringe. I didn't realize it was this cringe. Because because the thing is, Logan has like a secret channel over here. The official Logan Paul. This isn't his main channel. This is just the channel that he uses to upload shit that he doesn't want his audience to see. Uh, it's insane that he even has a channel like this. It's literally just a channel of stuff that he does not want his audience to see. It's like random shorts. He has uploaded was seven years ago. That was like his last real upload. Like, this is also addressing the prime accusations, responding to George Janko. Like, this is his drama video. Thank you, Coffeezilla. This is his, he has a whole channel dedicated to responding to drama where people won't see it in his audience. It's insane. But anyway, uh, continue fake laughing. This is selling. Stuff for the sake of making money. I love, I love how, like, reading Dan TDM's tweet in a funny voice is the response. It's like, why respond with logic when I could simply read your tweet in a funny voice? How does this benefit what is, what is that laugh? What is that face he's making? Can you see this? Is my VTuber guy blocking it? Okay, so I have one monitor, so it's a little scuffed, but... But dude! Why is he making that face? <laughs> that is... <laughs> You're bringing your child into a world, and you know for a fact that this dude is gonna peddle uh, Feastables shit into his child's mouth to promote it. He's gonna use his child to promote his dog shit. <laughs> Do better. Do better. That's exactly how I interpreted it as well. He's actually brain dead. Like, these people are, are fucking insane. Right? Like,. That's exactly how I interpreted it as well, guys. I also read it in a funny voice in my brain to invalidate the criticism. God, I'm cool. Like, let me put this in the context. Imagine being a mother who's angry. I love how they're they're so upset at Dan TD. Bro made one tweet. They made like eight videos, 40 tweets. A guy made one tweet one time and got under your skin this much. That we made this. Crackers, bro? You mad because we made crackers? This? I love how, how he just completely ignores the real criticism headed his way. <laughs> oh my god, they're psychos. They're actual psychos. Not about, bruh. It's a turkey, real cheese, and crackers. Real cheese! <laughs> he puts real cheese in every sentence. It's turkey, real cheese, and crackers. Why are you saying it like that? Oh my god. Back. And by the way, it's great. I mean, it's not great. Yes, we made nachos as well with cake. Yes, I, I'm gonna use this response video as an excuse to peddle my dog shit. Uh, we also made other delicious things. I'm gonna make believe this is a response, but in actuality, it's an ad. So, but I think if you're getting mad about nachos, that's a that's a you problem. Oh, and, oh, and pizza. And the pizza. Don't worry, I have more things to advertise. Yes. Will it give you diabetes? Maybe. Will you like it? Probably not. Will it make us money if you buy it? Yes. 
pizza. It's literally called the pizza. But same thing. It's literally called the pizza. Valid response. This is this is the Logan Paul response to criticism. It's like, you're going to criticize me for the pizza, bro? It's literally the pizza, you fool. You fucking dumbass. You penis waffler. Holy shit. I've literally impregnated this woman so I can use our unborn child to peddle this shit. Now that is a work ethic. What are you doing? Playing Minecraft? Like, you're mad about pizza? Like, no, he's... 500,000 favorites is because... Listen, there are 500,000 people that like that tweet. Okay? They all understood what the actual criticism was. Because we made pizza, crackers, and nachos? Yeah, yeah, they're, they're obviously upset because you made pizza, crackers, and nachos. Thank you very much for stacking the deck. This is like when people respond to drama, and it's like someone calls them out, like, <laughs> call out Mr. Beast for, uh, for hiring registered pedophiles. And the Mr. Beast response is deleting YouTube comments. Where was the same energy when- I love how he's- he's chewing freaking nothing! To make believe he's eating his crap. Brian Trahan, really sweet. Where is he's he? not eating anything. He is licking his lips right now because he took one bite of his real cheese and he can't get that shit off his gums, okay? We've all eaten this crap cracker snack before. That is exactly what he's doing. He cannot get the morsels of cracker shit from between his teeth. The same energy when Faze Rogue, really sweet. Hey, that is true. He's still making believe he's chewing. Ryan Trahan, really sweet. Where was the same energy when Faze Rogue, really sweet? Hey, that is true. I don't remember. Oh my god, that's so true, guys. There wasn't criticism when people made candy, but now they're coming for us? Remember anyone having a problem with Ryan or Rogue when they released their candy? Just funny how that works. I'm not. Do you want me to explain it to you, Logan? Because you're, um, brain dead and a fucking, uh, alleged scammer, please don't sue me? It's because they didn't make believe their candy was healthy. Okay? You're promoting. Feastables or Lunchly or whatever the fuck making believe it's healthy. You're like, holy shit guys It has 400 grams of potassium or whatever the fuck to make believe it's healthy My brother, it's not healthy. Okay. They never promoted their candy as least as far as I know They did it promoted as a healthy snack for kids. Okay candy's not healthy and neither is this garbage Stop peddling it that way I'm not seeing people going crazy towards them on Twitter. You know what? He's still fake chewing it's because people they, like this is crazy. He just puts himself in the corner, fake chewing the whole time. Let's this dude take all the heat. Who just hate us? <laughs> uh, he said something totally hilarious. That's it. People just hate us. Incredible analysis. Incredible analysis. Now all the doctors on YouTube that are criticizing them, which have already made videos talking about lunchly and how it's not healthy. That's, that's heresy, okay? Brother, get the heavy flamer. They just hate us. It has real cheese. I've come to realize now in my adult life that hate really is just a feeling of one's own inadequacy. <laughs> Brother, why are you suing CoffeeZilla, okay? CoffeeZilla exposed you for making a scam, all right? You, you, you post on your secret channel over we here, with right? You post this video. I don't even, I don't even need to look for it, okay? Thank you, CoffeeZilla. You literally posted this, okay? CoffeeZilla is not a criminal. I called him. I apologized. Uh, my initial response mm. to his uh, series was uh, that of, yeah. of, of mm. fire, uh, uh, an ego, yeah, ego flair, uh, flair, whatever it is, pride. Whatever, yeah. I'm a fighter at heart, yeah, and right. uh, I was defensive because right. I know yes. I never scammed anyone with this project. Oh, right. never made any but, money, but never sold apologized. any tokens, and right. I only had the best intentions True. going in. Well, right. yes. um, but the fact is that suing CoffeeZilla is not going to help crypto. And now he's suing him! And now he's suing CoffeeZilla anyway. Uh, there we go. So, uh, th this is, this is the guy, he hates CoffeeZilla, but hate it, hatred, Logan, bubble, hatred is only a feeling of one's own inadequacy. You feel terrible that you look like a fucking clown for everyone on the internet. C poor Logan, feels so inadequate that everyone thinks he's such a fucking loser and a scammer, because he is. It's that feeling of inadequacy inside of him, and that's why he hates CoffeeZilla. Oh, God, poor Luke, bro. Dissatisfied with your life, you're unhappy, you're angry because your wife left you, or you, right. you suck. You might as well go hate on a cracker stack. Bro, aren't you getting sued by Prime? When uh, it for Prime? Aren't you getting sued? It comes to Twitter, Twitter is just a cesspool of the most depressed people on this earth. Hey, that is so true. Twitter sucks. I'm not... <laughs> this is the worst reaction content on the platform. He's literally using... <laughs> this guy is like a fucking springboard. Kidding? Probably one of the worst places to be. It's true. Twitter is awful. He's right about that. That is where I agree with Logan. 10% of the Reddit is just sucking my d
and 95 percent he's just ignoring the actual criticism and he's just going to the memes calling jj a corporate sellout this confuses me i remember a time when like success and dreams used to be celebrated and now you're making believe that you're doing this for the good of children okay it's like, and this was my response to Dan TDM. We've spent our whole lives creating content, and now we want to build businesses. Seems like a natural. Arc. Yeah, there, no one would ever complain if someone would have spent their life making content and then built businesses. Is your dream really selling, peddling this shit to children? Um, but honestly, I don't even think that's the main criticism here. It's the fact that you, you promote it as like this healthy alternative to Lunchables. When it is the same crap, you claim that it's super duper tasty and shit. When it's the same crap, this is no one's dreams. Your dreams is finding a way to fuck children over. <laughs> like, the... <laughs> I mean, obviously not. That That's definitely putting it in uh, harsher terms than it needed to be. Um, but, bro, these are not your dreams, okay? Stop making believe you're doing this for to be a healthy alternative. Just admit that it's purely as a cash grab, purely for the greed for any young ambitious adult and without even trying the meal just seeing a headline it is met with hate resistance disgust you don't know any yeah, it's disgusting that you are ripping off this product literally to serve influencer slop um i hate personally that the influencer slop business has actually been taking off lately and every influencer wants to just release slop dude you built businesses with crypto zoo am i supposed to celebrate that as you accomplishing your dreams even though it was a scam like <laughs> this is the most disingenuous argument I've ever heard in my entire life. He's always dreamed of scamming children. It's finally a reality. Thing about this product and the people that think they know about it still don't know about it. I went to war with Community Notes the other day. Right. X's regulatory body of truth. But they lie. The whole system is littered with lies. Show us the lie. Show us the lie. Because Community Notes is just, uh, it's, it, it's exactly that. It's a community of contributors uh, contributing what their uh, point of view is. Uh, not the truth. Their point of view. And if their point of view gets uh, enough votes, it gets marked on the tweet. But that's crazy. with community notes their point of view and if their point of view gets enough votes mm. it gets marked the best part about this is they removed their original live i continue to lie about me correcting them the reference note has been marked as needing more votes not removed but he still doesn't show it he's doing everything in his power to not show the community note that he's talking about so i've never seen logan paul block me on twitter um uh bro does not like uh does not like your boy lord nuxenor listen i'm just too based i guess he hates me he blocked me because he hates me. But the truth is, I'm not offended. Because I know that Logan Paul just feels very inadequate and weak and sad. Maybe for many reasons. But that's why he has hate in his heart. Because of his inadequacy. On the tweet. But that's crazy to me. Because if you're a polarizing person like me. Because the contributors, by the way, who are not my fans. These are people who sit online all day. They don't go outside. They don't smell the grass. Oh, yeah. Oh, th th that's, his, that's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. His fans, they go outside. They touch grass. They, they do things with their lives. Like buy lunchly, right? That's his fans, right? But these people that are that are calling him out, oh, they have no life, <laughs> no soul. Sit at the computer all day. They'll come up with something that fits their narrative. Yeah, it's, it's the narrative. It's the na <laughs> it's the narrative, guys. Look at him. They are the woke propaganda. <laughs> He's fucking insane, bro. Bro, it's an actual fucking nutcase. This is crazy. This is insane. I feel like this is. I, uh, listen. When I say Logan Paul is retarded, I do not mean it as a slur. I mean it as a diagnosis, goddammit. Okay? Holy shit. I might make your tweet look bad so other people can ratio you and oh my god, bro. bro. I got ratioed so hard. <laughs> He's so messed. He's coping and seething. I have never seen this cope and seethe levels. Oh, this is like actual main character syndrome. He, he is delusional. By so many people. People were making like a <laughs> thing out of it. I think I saw like four tweets from like small accounts that were like, I want to race your Logan Paul. Can you guys help me? 123,000 favorites. I favorited it too, to be honest, because that's hilarious. Like these people will go through life and that'll be their greatest accomplishment. And if I can help with that, I'm so happy to. But yeah, I'm sure you are. Yeah, their greatest accomplishment. True, true, true. Listen, I get a crazy amount of hate on Twitter, okay? And honestly, I make content out of it, and I find it funny. So definitely keep going ahead and doing that. Um, full, uh, full power to you guys, sure. But, bro, there is no way I sound as salty as this man <laughs> when I meme about and make videos. Do I also sound like I'm coping immensely like this guy? Holy shit. 
Because I genuinely do like it. I put snippets in my videos in order to get people on Twitter to promote it so that I could react to it for my content. Like, holy shit. This man is coping so insanely hard. But yeah, community notes, lies. I had a sports... He doesn't even show it again. Again, he doesn't show it. Indeed, doctor, on one of my tweets, lie. Why lie for? But I'm like, bro, it's not sodium. It's the 400 milligrams of electrolytes that we mentioned in the drink. And I had... He's still fucking doing Yeah, and electrolytes are really good for you guys. Um, if you are a plant. To correct him, I was like, bro, you're a sports medicine doctor. You, how, how you can't read? The drink in Lunchly has 400 milligrams of electrolytes. We're not making that this up. This is not good for you, though. <laughs> We're not making this up. It's just not good. It doesn't matter. 400 milligrams of electrolytes. That's so important. If you're a plant. Uh, and then I'm fighting with community notes. They're like, no, it doesn't. It has this many, is it? And then I corrected them. And I'm like, actually, the Prime in Lunchly is exclusive to Lunchly and has 400 milligrams of electrolytes. And they still just plastered their lie. I can't believe it. It's like... Wait, is someone gonna lie on the internet? I can't believe it. Bro sounds like the dude from Arthur. Oh my god. Oh my god. Lies on the internet. Is this really happening? There are so many forces working against us to make sure we don't win. Which it's is the forces of Satan. The forces of Satan going up against them. That's what it is. Why we're gonna work that much harder to make sure we do win. Bringing up a harmless dying TDM video from nine years ago. He, every time he reacts, he plugs shit. I wasn't the one complaining. I'm just replying to Dan. <laughs> Am I not allowed to reply to Dan? He came at me. <laughs> they made 40 videos about, I I'm just saying, they made a dozen videos between them videos and tweets and tiktoks and more and more complaints about this this is <laughs> i love like logan paul versus the forces of evil civil war jj is worked up right now i mean i could see why like you can't engage with these people this is like a game of tennis if you don't hit the ball back the game doesn't continue and yet he's falling in the trap i'm falling in the trap like here we are like like peons why is he talking like this i don't understand he did not use to talk like this trying to rationalize with a community notes that's not like a person that's not an entity it's just a group it's not an entity this guy's never had a titty of haters who somehow listen i need the titties i milk the titties mr breast videos milk drama i don't have the ability to comment on whether or not things are true but they lie help me understand i'm literally just making a company where i make a product that is better than the competition except it's not better uh, well said <laughs> well said i love how he's glazing ksi for getting so worked up that he made an entire video looking like a complete moron because Dan TDM, a Minecraft YouTuber, made one tweet. It. I think we just see this fundamentally different than most people. It's a fundamentally different than most. He did not used to talk like this. What the fuck happened to this man? Oh. Yes, we could have made a lunch meal with carrots and celery and apple slices. But I don't eat that sh I don't. Look, I. But you're. you're <laughs> we could have made it healthy, but I don't eat healthy. I want to sell this to children, goddammit. So that's not true. I will have those things. But for like a lunch meal, I'm not interested in that. I want and always have wanted. You don't want lunchly. You do not want this. This is made for children. This is not made for adults. You do not want this. Stop lying and making believe you do. On lunch. I grew up on Lunchables. I'll admit that. We all have. What do you I mean grew up? Do you still eat it now? I wouldn't sell something that I don't eat myself. And I yeah, for, for sure. Fine. I wouldn't find myself eating a, a carrot, celery, apple slice lunch. And the opportunity to partner with a friend, Jimmy, who I've known forever, by putting a Feast of Bulls, our product prime, and, and an entree in a lunch kit was like a no-brainer to me. Especially if, and this is what we're- No-brainer, because all of them are getting criticism for completely valid reasons in different areas. So they've decided to do some axis of evil shit. That guy hires pedophiles. I scam children. Let's combine forces. Let, let's do something with this. These are different audiences we could branch into. Forgetting it's better than Lunchables. That's our stance. We see it just differently than the, the people who are hating on us. <laughs> we see it differently. I promote a scam and I think it's cool. They don't like it. He does a lottery that he peddles to children. And for some reason, people think that it's weird. If we can take shelf space and market share from a company that is not producing the best product that they can be doing in terms of what is in it, that is a win to us. And actually, that's fucking bullshit it's the money that's the win to you can you stop making believe that it's 
that it's in order to ethically increase the quality of the food world? It's influencer slop, okay? Do you know why all these influencer products are ultimately failing, okay? And I drove across the goddamn U.S. to study this shit. Prime is always on sale, and Feastable is always on sale, and Mr. Beast toys are always on clearance in every Walmart that has it. Do you know why? Because the products are shit. Mr. Beast Burger is getting sued. Prime is getting sued. Feastables is in controversy after controversy. You, Hello, people. Morons of the internet. This is influencer slop marketing. You put marketing behind absolute dog shit. Take a step back. Let's take a step back and look at the whole f***ing situation. This mother... <laughs> How is that Logan Paul impersonation? Yes, I'm complaining. Well, what is this face he's making? <laughs> I can't, this is fucking crazy. He looks crazier than my avatar. I'm a, a lunchbox. <laughs> <laughs> this one. Ah, 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 ah. Yes. I'm complaining about a lunch kit. That's what this whole thing is about. Yeah, they are. A lunch kit. There's way more crazier things happening in this world. But people want to go in on this lunch f***ing kit. <laughs> Why are people criticizing us when there's a war in Ukraine? <laughs> Good argument! And Logan's literally jumping up and down like a fucking monkey. That's what I'm saying! What? My pregnant fiance is not having it. <laughs> Look, she's bouncing on a ball right it's now. Not sad. If you go on why is she sitting in there? The labor, just let me know. Okay, I'll keep you posted. I'll keep me posted. Motherfuckers are mad about nachos! The fuck is going on? A another excuse to, to peddle to more ads. More ads, baby. More ads. Here, yeah, bro! By the way, when his uh when his fiance actually gave birth, when she gave birth. He promoted Lunchly in the hospital room right after she gave birth. All right, so my editor sent me that tweet. He, like, said, yo, look at this. And he sends me this. <laughs> but this, this, uh, this, first of all, the scariest part of this video is the fact that he procreated. The second scariest part is the fact that he jumps like this, like a complete idiot, completely missing the point as to why people are criticizing him. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. What? If you go into... What is going on here, bro? You know what the kids these days need? Chocolate and sugar water for lunch. I actually don't understand this at all. Because I see a lot of these comments. Why do oh, kids... You, you don't understand it? Kids need an energy drink in the lunch league. Why just packed with sugar? That's not the criticism. It's it's that you people are greedy fucking pigs. Um, and you are willing to do anything to sell anything in order to make more money. And the reason why we believe that is because you scammed people. <laughs> okay? This is fucking insane. A lot of these comments. Why do kids need an energy drink in the lunch league? Why just packed with- Yep, that's not, a, that's not a comment that anyone got. No, no one ever said that. Literally no one on the planet made that criticism. No one in the world. No one in the world saw this and was like, But why do they need an energy drink? Nope, nope, nope. That's, that's not the criticism, guys. <laughs> But he uses it as an excuse to promote his crap. Sugar Prime is a better for you hydration drink. Yeah, yes, right. we have an energy line that is 18 plus, but that is not in Lunchly. Lunchly is hydration. There's no caffeine in this Prime. And there's no added sugar. Zero grams of sugar. So sugar water. That's crazy. That's weird. So then why is Prime literally banned in New Zealand and Canada? Hmm. Interesting. But again, that's just not true. It's yeah, not part. true. It's just like, it's just like wrong. But unfortunately, the truth does not matter these days. Lunchables. True. The truth is irrelevant. Logan Paul could be exposed as a scammer and proceed to sue the person that exposed the scam. But unfortunately, society is cringe that way. Made, I think it was last year, about 1.8 billion. And you know what? We thought Lunchables, we can better that. We can make a better product that people can also afford. Oh, that's oh, yeah. That's oh, other... oh, so you're doing this to make a better product or you're doing it to make money? Just admit it. Just literally admit it. Say, listen, we know it's not super healthy, but it's a big market. And we want to make money. I would give you all the props in the world if you had the balls to say that. But Logan Ball does not have the balls to just say that it's for the money. Thing. It's around four bucks. It's a great value. It just is. And, and he's still promoting it. It's this. The whole response is just a uh, ad, an ad hidden by as a response. I understand why all of a sudden it's a bad thing to have a business? <laughs> yeah, that's not the argument. <laughs> I didn't like, even know he was gonna say that, and that's exactly what I said. Way. Also, I. <laughs> I didn't know! <laughs> Logan Paul didn't pre-watch, guys. Literally didn't pre-watch. <laughs> no pre-watch here, Logan Paul. I did not know he was gonna say it, but he literally was gonna say this I think. I think there's like a misunderstanding with how like hate is received by people. Oh. I'm so used to this oh. In fact, I get that's why they made four videos molding about Dan TDM making a single tweet. For this 
I literally make a living off of people not liking me. And I have to be honest with you, it's fantastic. When I'm in the I'm center- sure. That's why he mauled it for two weeks straight. ...of the ring in the WWE, and I can puppeteer an audience with my word. I can play you people like a fiddle because- <laughs> <laughs> He's playing us, guys! All this time where we think that Logan Paul is a douchebag, he was literally trolling us the entire time. This is like Dr. Disrespect all over again. Dr. Disrespect comes back and is like, I said I had appropriately messaged a minor. And then people thought I was a pedophile. I literally tricked them into thinking that. Woohoo! The doc once again. Dubsky. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I love this so much. It's so funny. He is puppeteering them into hating him. All he needed to do to get them to hate him was to scam them out of money with a crypto project <laughs> and make fun of a, a suicide victim in a forest in Japan. All I needed to do with- Bro, Nick Akato Avocado looks like a fucking super genius compared to this guy. Because of what I say, because I lift an eyebrow, a facial expression, I can get an exact reaction oh, yeah. out of you that I want. Bro, that's- Just one facial expression and a crypto scam and it works. It's the best feeling in the world. And so, yeah. like, other people, oh, he got ratioed, he got- Bro, social media is not real life. That isn't real life. I'll tell you what- Why are you coping for eight minutes talking about this if it's not real life? Real life is. Well, you can make 15,000 people boo you because you do this. It's cr I'm dying here. I'm dying, bro, dude. This is, I, this is why I'm never allowed to go on vacation ever again. There's so much cringe that goes. I go on vacation. Every streamer cheats on their wife, and every every streamer cheats on their husband with with each other. Okay, what is going on here? There, there's so much bullshit that happens in the community. I go on vacation. World crashes down. This is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, we boo because you lifted an eyebrow. Your power is immense. This is this dude over here thinks he's fucking Goku. Holy shit, bro. Yeah. Sure. That that's why. That's why people boo you. <laughs> Mr. Beast rolls out. I'm He's so powerful, guys. He is so powerful. Small. All he needed to do to get us to boo was lift a single eyebrow and make fun of a corpse in a suicide forest in Japan and disrespect the Japanese culture and scam his audience and sue Coffeezilla after apologizing to Coffeezilla and promote a dog shit product that he's claiming is healthy when it's not healthy. All he needed to do was that, and he gets people to boo. That's real life. Oh, matured replied in R. Uh, Honestly, I'm sorry about being mature, man. It's <laughs> absolute decades that don't deserve my maturity. Hey, JJ is so funny. Actually, this is a good example. That was one of the worst videos I've ever watched. The JJ video. And this dude's coming out glazing. Example, when I used to watch KSI's videos when we were beefing, I hated him. I was so annoyed with him. His laugh, <laughs> the way he interacted with these people, I just like chose to dislike anything I could about it. Because I was a hater. I really was. Uh, and then I met the Yeah, okay. And then I met the guy and realized that if I just become friends with him, I could make millions of dollars. And then I just became friends with him for money. Guy. And I was like, dude. And it was millions of dollars and, and real life interactions that brought us together. You're great. You're awesome. I like you. And now I think his videos are so funny. Like my lens completely shifted. And I, all it took was making a billion dollars on Prime. I think right now we're stuck in that first kind of lens for a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're, we're all stuck in that lens. That's why we don't like you. A lot of people. So, you know, hating us. It's just what you know. It's in your blood. You don't know anything different. Stick your you're suing my friend Coffeezilla. Do you have any idea how much stress you're putting into his life? Okay. This, this is not hating someone for some uh, miasma of bullshit, okay? This isn't hating someone from some internet lens. My friend, Coffeezilla, is getting sued by this motherfucker. Literally to bully him. With tens, hundreds of thousands of dollars getting put into this shit, okay? <laughs> this isn't some random internet beef. Your belly in the screen, like just your belly. That's crazy. Wow. Crazy. The low gang is growing, baby! Yeah. Does he still, is he still making believe he has an audience? Lunchly's had a wild start. I have never seen anything like this. In terms of engagement and impressions, boy, we did it. In terms of sentiment, you know, uh, yeah. But I have a rule. If you're gonna hate on this product, try it first. And if you don't- I have a rule. It makes me money. I have a rule. One rule. Give money to me. That's the rule. Like it, go to X and community notes will have your back. Even if you're lying, how great is that? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like my video. Bye.
You and Is he really asking people to subscribe to his fucking phony channel that he uses for drama? Yeah, that was one of the worst. Uh, that was one of the worst videos I've ever seen in my life. Um, I haven't. I, 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 that was pretty bad. Yeah, that that was maybe the worst thing ever. Um, uh, can we get a shout out to probably one of the saddest updates? Logan Paul has procreated, and this baby will be used as a marketing ploy. All right, you can call me Lord Pre Watchinor from today, but that baby will promote Prime one day, or or Lunchly, or whatever fucking garbage, trash ass consumer bullshit food that he's promoting. Then, thank you so much for being here. Subscribe for more drama slop. All right, I will continue to slop people. People will get slop, dick slop. If you made it to the end, click one of these two videos, which also will definitely get me canceled. See you live on Game. Stay weird, fam.